Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you all the different steps and tweaks I do to my system in order to get Automobilista 2 looking crystal clear and running butter smooth in my Quest headset. Um, if you find any of this information helpful and you want to support the channel, I have a buy me a coffee link in the description. Remember to like and subscribe, it helps the channel out. Um, there's some of these things you may have seen before, but I bet you there's a few things in here that you weren't aware of, so do watch to the end. Alright, let's go. Make sure that the uh, power setting is set to performance mode. So open uh, the start menu, type in power, choose power plan, pick that one, and make sure that it's set to high performance. Another thing that you want to do is open up Windows Explorer and um, go down to the Go to your C drive, Documents, Automobile Used to 2, and then you want to find the Graphics Config Oculus DX11.xml file. Right click on this and open it with Notepad. I'm going to use Notepad++. With this file open, scroll down to the very bottom of it, and you will see these three lines. Adjust this line here to be 1.0. Sharpening clamp can be 0 0.09 if it isn't already. And the offset bias, the offset bias can be 1.1. Save those settings and close that file. This will increase the sharpness and clarity of Automobilista in VR for you. Click on start, type in game mode, go to game mode settings and enable or turn on the game mode for Windows. Something you do want to do uh, to gain more performance is turn off or shut down any applications that you're not using at the time. So you can right click in your system tray and just exit applications that you don't need running to free up some uh, memory and space. You can also go to uh, task manager again by hitting uh, control shift escape and go to your startup apps and just disable any applications that you don't think you need running. Um, you, you know, these things just take up space and processing power. So just disable anything you don't need. Open up your AMD Adrenaline software. If you're using NVIDIA, you can open up the NVIDIA control panel and try to follow along. I'm sure NVIDIA has some similar settings that I have with my Adrenaline software. But with your Adrenaline software open, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go over to your performance tab and then you want to click on tuning. From here you can see that I have auto overclocked checked. I have my CPU checked to OB overclocked and I also am overclocking my GPU. I'm doing this just so I can squeeze every last bit of performance out of my system. Your card might not have these options, but if they do, I recommend turning them on with your own caution because, you know, this can cause excessive heat to your system and do damage. So, you know, be wary of that. But that's what I do, and that's how I get the best performance out of my VR headset. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to your gaming tab, click on games, and then look for AMS2 AVX. Select it. With that selected, scroll down, and here's the options that I've turned on. You may not have the same options uh, given what video card you have, but uh, if you do, I recommend turning these on. So AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 I've turned on, uh, and a, a Radeon Anti-Lag I have enabled. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see Advanced. Click on that and scroll down. And then I have anti-aliasing override application settings is set. Under anti-aliasing levels, I have it eight times. 
and anti-aliasing method is set to multi-sampling and anti-stropic filtering I have enabled and I have it set to 16 times you can adjust these for your uh, your own system you can lower these settings these are maxed out on my computer but um, you can always try the top of the line settings here and then work your way back until you find something that works for you that's all you need to do in your uh, AMD adrenaline software the next thing we're going to do is optimize the VR headset with the MetaQuest desktop app if you don't have this app already, you can download it from meta.com. Just search MetaQuest desktop app. Uh, with the app installed, the first thing you will do is a USB test. Uh, when I do this, mine comes up to about 2.4 gigabits per second. Um, <clears throat> but once that's done, the next thing you want to do is click on graphics preference. I have my headset set to 90 hertz, and I have the uh, resolution rendering set to 1.5 times. You can lower this to get a little bit more performance out of your headset um, at the uh, expense of clarity. If your system isn't as high end or you're, you're struggling with to get smooth frame rates with this setting, but this will, if you, you know, you have a higher end PC, this will give you uh, the best clarity. The next thing that you're going to want to do is open the Oculus Debug Tool. If you're not sure where that is, you can find it on the C drive. Go to Program Files. Go to Oculus. Go to Support. Go to Oculus Diagnostics. And then double-click the Oculus Debug Tool.exe. With that tool open, I do recommend going down to your system tray, right-clicking, and pinning it to the taskbar so you have easy access to it. And with this tool, you can adjust a few settings so that uh, you can increase a little bit more, squeeze a little bit more performance out of your Quest headset. Uh, for instance, um, the FOV tangent multiplier, I would set this for AMS2 to 0 0.9. Oops. 0 0.9. And then for the next number, I'd put 0 0.69. What this is going to do is it's going to cause some vertical lines on the top and bottom of your Oculus Quest headset, but when you're racing in AMS2, you don't even notice them because you're looking so far ahead down the track. Um, it's almost like making a virtual helmet, to be honest with you. And it, what it does is it saves you so much performance or gives you so much more performance because it's um, not rendering all these pixels that you're not really looking at or using anyway. So I really recommend these numbers. You can play around with these numbers. You can lower this if your uh, your system's having issues getting faster frame rate rates, but I recommend starting at this point here. So that's 0 0.9 and 0 0.69. Um, FOV stencil set to auto. The bypass proximity sensor check is set to off. Everything else here is pretty much set to default. PC asynchronous space warp, I always disable this. Um, I just find I don't want to kicking in. You can play around with it and set it to uh, the force 45 frames per second, but try it with this, this disabled first and see how you make out. Um, distortion curve, set this to low. And encode resolution width, try this number, 4128, uh, you may have to actually copy this number from Notepad and paste it in like you do with some of the values in here. Um, let me just see here, 4128. Okay, we'll actually let you type that one in. Um, encode dynamic bitrate, set this to disabled. Dynamic bitrate max, I have that set to zero. For encode bitrate, I have mine set to 850. I think the max it'll let you type in is 300. Let me see here, 850. Oh, it'll actually let me type it in. Okay, you used to not be able to do that. Um, the higher this number, the uh, the better your headset will run through Link. Um, but some people have issues with their system and they have to start with a lower uh, value. I recommend starting at about three or maybe 400. Work your way up uh, in increments of 100 to see how that does for you. My system sweet spot is 850. I find if I tried 900 on this, I started to get some weird uh, like lag and, and stuff out of my headset. So 850 was a sweet spot for me. So play with that number a little bit. Uh, set link sharpening to 
normal. You can also use quality. I do leave mine at normal though. Um, and if you want to test any of the performance um, on your headset, you can turn on the performance monitoring and you'll have a little window on the top of your headset where you can see if you're, uh, you know, if you're, if you're maxing out or if you're dropping frames and things of that nature. Another tool that I like to use is called the Oculus Tray Tool. Now this is the same as the Oculus Debug Tool, except it allows you to save various profiles for each and every VR game you play. So for instance, if I go to my view and edit, you're going to see all the different games I play uh, under AMS2. Uh, under the game app, you just click the three dots, travel to the AMS2 folder, so C drive, program file slash 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Automobile Ballista 2, scroll down, select AMS2AVX.exe, hit open, and then what you can do is play with your super sampling rate. So this will increase the clarity of your game in your headset. Uh, I recommend starting at 1.1 and working your way up. I found that 1.5 for me gave me the best performance and the best clarity. Uh, anything higher, I started to either A, not notice much of a difference in the clarity and the performance would slowly degrade. So 1.5 worked best for me. I recommend playing with that. Asynchronous space warp mode, I leave this off. CPU priority. I set to high and I'll be going into more detail about the, the uh, process of the game and how to squeeze more performance out of it in a few minutes. Screen mirroring, I leave to zero, but if you'd like to record your gameplay, you can set this to force and use OBS to record your gameplay. GPU scaling, I set to zero. FOV multiplier again, the field of view, I leave this at 0.9 and 0.69. And again, you can adjust this even lower to get even more performance out of your headset but I find with 0.69, I can still see, um, I have a great field of view. I don't notice the black bars on the top and the bottom of my headset. Um, and I get massive uh, frames per second increase with that setting. Hit OK to this. If you use this tool, I really recommend you using the audio confirmation when profile is applied. I find with AMS2, sometimes if you open the game and you close it and reopen it, you don't get these profiles loaded. So if you turn this on and you load the game, it'll tell you that it has applied the profile or say, it say something along the lines of game launch detected. And uh, then you know you're good to go. Uh, just like the Oculus debug tool, you can set your quest link settings. So you can see again, I have distortion curve set to low. My encode bit rate is 4128. Uh, sorry, the encode resolution is 4128. My encode bit rate is 850. Uh, the dynamics is disabled. Sharpening is enabled. Really recommend turning that on to get uh, even clearer image. For VR users, I really recommend opening up uh, Steam, going to Library, finding Automobilista 2, right mouse clicking on it, going to Properties, and then under Selected Launch Options, enter dash do not pause on a focus loss what this does is allows you to use your mouse uh, when you tab or alt tab out of the automobilista game for doing things like uh, tinkering with the process in task manager and so forth uh, my experience without this is you can use your mouse for a couple seconds and then it just starts kind of getting locked up in the upper left hand corner until you tab back into the automobilista 2 game so uh, try this out, see if it works for you. Okay, so we're in the game. Uh, I'll go through some of my game settings. If you go to options, visual effects, uh, post-processing filters are on, bloom is on, exposure set to one, vinaigrette no, cockpit mirrors on, heat haze off, uh, razor yes, uh, exterior sun flares full, interior sun flares full, raindrops yes, screen and dirt yes, graphics and performance, uh, my external resolution is my monitor here, I have it set to windowed mode, texture resolution is set to high, I left texture filtering to anisotropic two times because you can't turn that off, vertical sync is no, rendered frames ahead are one, uh, anti-aliasing is set to high, Super, sample, or super sampling I don't do. 
I do that from the Oculus uh, Trade Tool or the Debug app. Shadow detail is set to ultra. Traction or track reflection detail is set to ultra. Vehicle reflection detail is set to ultra. Vehicle detail is set to ultra. I set to 24 max visible cars. You can lower this though if you uh, find some performance impacts. Enhanced mirrors is set to yes. Motion blur is set to off. Pit crew detail is set to all. Track detail is ultra. Grass detail high. Particle detail high. Particle density is set to ultra. And under my virtual reality settings, uh, gaze control is set to auto select. Recenter view on boot is set to off. Recenter view at race start, I have that set to once. I do use a button on my wheel though to recenter myself. Um, I'll show you where you set that. And everything else is just kind of set. Again, I don't use any aliasing on here. Um, I do that from the tray tool. So hit save to that. Now with Automobilista 2 running on your computer, you want to take your headset off for a second and you want to open up Windows Task Manager. You can do that by right clicking on the Windows Start button down here and going to Task Manager or you can hit Control Shift Escape and that'll bring it open. And then now that you have Task Manager open, find the Automobilista 2 process right here running. You can expand it right click on it and then go to properties go to compatibility and make sure you check on disable full screen optimization doing this alone will give you quite a significant uh, boost it did in my my case anyways so i hope it does the same for you hit ok and then with task manager still open right click on automobilista 2 go to go to details down here in the menu and then right click on the AMS2AVX.exe and set the priority to high. Change priority and you're done. All right, so one thing I like to do uh, is map a button on my steering wheel to center my VR. So if you go to controls, and edit assignment, camera and view. You scroll all the way down and map center VR headset with a button. You will be able to line up your virtual arms with your real arms.